Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we were looking at Azure Monitor Cheat Sheet. This one's a three-parter, so let's jump into it. Azure Monitor's comprehensive solution for collecting, analyzing, and acting as telemetry for your cloud on-premise environments. And even though I don't have it in the slide here, it is an umbrella service, meaning there's a lot of things underneath this, and that's why we have three pages of information. It can create visual dashboards, smart alerts, automated actions, log monitoring. To obtain observability, you need to know metrics, logs, and traces. You can ha use them all together using them in isolate, but that does not give you observability. Metrics is a number that is measured over a period of time. Logs is a text file that contains uh, event data, which was happening, and traces is a history of requests that, that travels through multiple apps and services so we can pinpoint performance or failures. Azure Monitor collects two fundamental types of data from sources, logs and metrics, which kind of matches up with our um, uh, theoretical information here, right? So Azure Monitor logs collects and organizes log and performance data for monitoring resources. Data logs are consolidated from different sources into workspaces, platform logs and Azure services, logs and performance data and virtual machine agents. Usage and performance data for applications can be consolidated in a workspace you can be analyzed they can be analyzed together using a sophisticated query language, which we'll talk about here in a moment, or, re or review, I suppose. Um, work with log queries and their results uh, interactively using log analytics. Azure Monitor Metrics collects, and that's the second part here, right? So the two fundamentals. Azure Monitor Metrics collects new, uh, numeric data from monitored uh, resources in a time series database. Metrics are new numerical values collected at regular intervals and describe some aspects of a system at a particular time. Lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time uh, scenarios, useful for alerting and fast detection of issues. You can analyze them in, in, interactively via the Metrics Explorer on page two. Log Analytics is a tool in the Azure portal used to edit and run log queries with data in the Azure Monitor logs. Log Analytics is used a language called Q, uh, KQL. Uh, log Analytics, uh, and I think that's Custo, right? So Log Analytics uh, workspace is a unique environment for the monitor logs data. Each workspace has its own data repository and configuration. Data sources and solutions are configured to store in their workplace. And I really wish I put the word data lake in here. It's not important for uh, uh, the associate, but for other exams, it helps you understand if you think of it as a data lake. Azure Monitor Logs is based on the Azure Data Explorer and log queries are written using the Custo query language. KQL can be used in a log analytics, log alert rules, workbooks, Azure dashboards, and all over the place. Custo is based on a relational database management system. So you'll see database tables and columns. Some query operations include calculated columns, searching and filtering on rows, group by aggregates, join functions. If you're used to using SQL, you know what I'm talking about. Custo queries execute in the context of some Custo database that is attached to a Custo cluster. Custo is generally composed of the following entities, clusters, database tables, columns, functions. Let's talk about them quickly here. Uh, clust clusters are entities that hold databases. Databases are, are named entities that hold tables and stored functions. Stored functions are named entities that allow reuse Custo queries or query parts. Tables are named entities that hold data. Columns are named entities that hold scalar data types. And then you have external tables, which are identities that reference data stored outside the Custo database. These both count as tables. That's why it's not in the list up here. Uh, uh, but generally, these are pretty self-explanatory. Metric Explorers is a subservice of Azure Monitor that allows you to plot charts, visualize cor correlating trends, and investigate spikes and dips in the metrics values. To visualize a metric, you need to define the scope, the namespace, the metric, and the aggregation. We're on to the last page here. Alerts notify you when issues are found within your infrastructure or application. They allow you to identify address issues uh, before the users or system notice them. Azure has three kinds of alerts, metrics, logs, and activity uh, log alerts. <coughs> Sorry. There is a diagram, if you remember our uh, follow along, I actually break down all the uh, uh, um, structure of an alert. You should go review that. I didn't put in the cheat sheet because it just would have been too much here. Azure dashboards are a virtual workspace to quickly launch tasks for day-to-day -day operations and monitor resources. Azure workbooks provide a flexible canvas for data analysis and the creation of rich Visual reports within the Azure portal, it tells, and just to highlight what Azure work, workbooks are for, it tells a story about the performance availability about your applications and services. Then we have application insights, and this is an application performance management, an APM service. 
and it is a subservice of Azure Monitor. That's why all these things are under Azure Monitor. Automatically detects performance anomalies, includes powerful analytics tools to help you diagnose issues to understand what users do with your app, designed to help you continuously improve performance and usability. It works for apps on the .NET, not Node.js, Java, Python, hosted on-premise, hybrid, and public cloud. Works everywhere, basically. Integrates with your DevOps processes, can monitor and analyze telemetry from mobile apps by integrating the Visual Studio App Center to use application insights, you need to instrument your application. To instrument, you need to install the instrument uh, package SDK or enable application insights using application insight agents when supported. Apps can be instrumented from anywhere. When you set up your application insights monitoring for your web app, you create an application insight resource in Azure Monitor. Uh, you open the resource in the Azure portal to uh, order uh, in order to see and analyze telemetry uh, collected from your app. And last, the resource is identified by the instrumentation key, the I key. So there you go.